Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. Friends, today we will see how to split a single column value into multiple rows in PySpark. This question is asked by one of our friends and today let's solve this. So, if you see the entire record, the pipe delimiter record is present under column 1. Now, let's see how to split that single column into 4 columns and 4 different rows. You see, right? So, here if you see 1001 RAM 28 Java. So, until this is the first record. And then the second record starts with 1002. Then again the name, the number, name, age and the technology. Then the third record starts 1004, the name, age and the technology. And then again number, name, name age and the technology. Now everything comes in a single column here. Now let's see how to split that single column and delimited value to multiple rows in PySpark. Okay. In Databricks Notepad, I have read that file friends. Let me show you that file as well. So it has a single line the similar way like I showed in the PPT. It has only a single line. Now let's go back to Databricks Notebook. So here if you can see, I am just reading that as header with false and I have saved that file in the CSV format. So format CSV, option header as false and I am loading that file. Then I am giving some name because otherwise it will be taken as call right so I'm just giving some random name to it you can give any name here and when I show that you can see the same thing which we saw in the PPT just now so now if you notice we have four columns here in a four, four column data we have to take right for, for the expected output and then you have this pipe now, if I change this after the fourth, after the four columns, if I change this delimiter to something else, then I can use the explode to split it. Now, because everything is pipe delimited, it's not possible for me to use the explode on the pipe because everything is delimited by pipe symbol. So, now let's modify each fourth occurrence of the pipe to slash n now. Okay. Friends, we can actually in the file itself, we can use the Unix and we can uh, using the AWK command or whatever, we can uh, set the command, we can con add the uh, required delimiter for the nth occurrence, okay. But now, as we wanted to do this particularly in uh, SpicePark, let's do it this way, okay. If you have any other solution in mind, kindly inbox, okay. Thank you. So now let me create a data frame 2 where data frame 1 dot with column let me create some call to some name okay some uh, I'm just uh, wanted to I just wanted to have that uh, replaced uh, uh, delimiter every fourth pipe should be replaced with slash n okay let's slash n I mean to say that it is it, it some uh, some uh, other delimiter other than pipe so that explode can understand. Okay, you can have any kind of uh, uh, identifier here. Now, for that, we have to use the re regular expression replace function. For that, let me, uh, one second, let me import the functions first. Import functions as f. Now, let's use regular expression replace Okay, regular expression replace. We wanted to replace the column 1. What is the, this one? Whatever, only one column we have in the data frame 1, right? I am taking that. So, we have to replace that column with, in that column, we have to take the, uh, identify the uh, delimiter which you wanted to replace. So, for that, we have to use the regular expression. Okay. When it comes to the then pipe symbol and every fourth occurrence only we are checking for correct and then with what we have to replace 
we have to replace it with slash n so which means when you replace when you put uh, this dollar zero the previous details will still be present and and at the end slash n will be appended okay so now let's print this to understand whether it is working fine or not yeah now when you see the column 2 is created and 1001 ram 28 java and you can see there is a slash n has been introduced okay now just to see the column 2 alone so that we don't get confused now you can see for for after every record you can see one slash n okay so this is the way we can differentiate now between the each record otherwise it was pipe delimited everywhere so it will be difficult to use the explode directly so we have first replaced the pipe delimiter with slash n you can use any other delimiter as you want okay now first let's take the df header which you want means what are the column names that you are looking for so that we can uh, split this column into multiple rows because when you split this into multiple columns you need the column headers as well right so let's give some names to the columns so now e number e name age and tech let's create some df header this way now we have this df2 correct for this df2 we will use the explode method now by splitting the newly created column by slash n so df2 dot select inside the select we use explode function explode function is used for splitting any of the like exploding the column into multiple rows so here there is a condition for using the explode function it should be either map or array as you have to pass as input to this explode then only it works so now for getting this input as either map or array we will split this column two into some uh, some elements of array okay so i mean i mean to say when you split with the slash n it will become like three to four records right which means array of elements okay so inside this explode let's write the split method because if you put split only it will make the array of elements which can be easily fed to explode method now this f inside this method let's put the newly created column which is column two and then with which we have to split using slash n we have to split it correct now let's close the explode explode is not closed right okay now and after this what we have to do we have to again split using the pipe symbol because now when you split with the slash n still you will have the values with pipe delimited only but we want as separate columns so let's do f dot split of column okay with what using pipe you have to use the pipe symbol this way otherwise it will not be able to understand okay so slash and then pipe this is how you have to give that this one okay in the split and then do the alias now we have the split value now what we have to do we have the values split by pipe and they are just lying under some column 0 uh, underscore 0 underscore 1 something like that now we have created df headers with the required column header now we need to map them 
with this split columns correct so let's do that using map how to do that is select map select star means map to all the columns and then lambda let's take one some i okay because we have to iterate through each and every df header so here f dot call value we have created okay and here dot get item correct because that is the when you split it it will be having list of items right so now we have to pick them up so how to do that is for in the df names how many df headers are there here here this is the df header when i mean to say one two three four uh, columns are there right in the df header in the column list of names right so there we will take the index of that okay that's how we can get how to uh, iterate over all the header names that we have given okay now uh, let's close this and we can actually give some alias to this so that it, it will look good get the item is ending here so let's put some alias now we have to give otherwise see this uh, we have to take these names right as headers so we have to give the alias here and then we as an input to this select we have to pass the df header so that it will take the uh, from this array like it will take from this list it will take the values from this list okay then finally do the show now let's run this you can see four columns are created with appropriate details from this single line so what we have done first we have created one extra delimiter so that we can explode using that extra delimiter because everywhere you can see pipes are there continuously in the original input file so it is difficult to understand which pipe to change so for every fourth pipe we have added this uh, slash n okay and then we have used the explode function for splitting the column to which is this one from the data frame to and we have split first using the slash n and then we have after the explode we have split that using the pipe symbol so if you wanted to know how to uh, how explode works and how to use it actually there is a lengthy video already created please check out i will give it in the i button as well now once you do this explode it only these things will be split like a again still with the pipe symbol okay now you can actually execute these statements one by one to understand what exactly each select is doing and after this explode we are splitting with the pipe symbol and here is where we are assigning the headers okay and also we are getting the a column for each exactly we are mapping actually we are mapping the correct value to the correct header and finally we got the desired output okay the same way hope you have enjoyed this video friends thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you